Welcome BCPS families. I'm happy to be with you today for a read aloud that is part of a conscious discipline lesson in pre-kindergarten. As we go through the lesson, we will talk about how to help your child develop self-control and choose a safe choice in response to a big emotion. But before we begin, let's do a brain smart start together and get our brains ready to learn. Hello Pre-K friends, it's Mrs. Verderame from the Office of Early Childhood. I'm excited to be with you today, but before we get ready for our lesson, let's do a brain smart start together to get your bodies relaxed and your brains ready to learn. Remember, there are four pieces of the brain smart start. An activity to unite, an activity to disengage stress, an activity to connect, and an activity to commit. Our activity to unite today, we're going to sing a hello song and you have a choice. You can either wave hello with windshield wiper hands or you can wave hello with two hands. Hmm, what will you choose? All right, did you pick one? Let's go. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends. I'm glad you're here today. Well done. Today for our activity to disengage stress, we are going to do Spider-Man breathing. And the way you do Spider-Man breathing is you put your fingers into any way you like, um, and these are your web blasters. And remember, when you're doing breathing, you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And so for Spider-Man breathing, you take your web blasters and you breathe in. And then you spray web all over the place. Breathe out. Ready? We're going to do that three times. Here we go. activity to, to, to connect today, we're going to sing a song called The Little Old Woman Who Lived in a Shoe. And it goes like this. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she knew just what to do. She hugged them. She rocked them. She tucked them into bed. I love you. I love you is what she said. Let's try it again. You can call a family member over, or you and I can be partners and sing the song together. Are you ready? Here we go. There, a wonderful woman lived in a shoe. She had so many children, but she knew just what to do. She hugged them. She rocked them. She tucked them into bed. I love you, I love you, is what she said. Well done. That was a fun song to sing. The last part of our Brain Smart Start is our activity to commit. And this is where we make a promise. So today I'm going to commit to learning one way that I can practice self-control. And self-control means when you're learning to control your body. Sometimes you feel like big feelings or emotions and you feel them bubbling up inside. And there's some things that we can do to help pause and calm your body. So I'm going to commit to learning one way to practice self-control. All right, you did it. Your brains are awake and you are ready to learn. Let's get started. Here is the I can statement for today. I can speak about thoughts, feelings, and ideas. Today, we are going to read a book called, It's Hard to Be Five, Learning How to Work My Control Panel by Jamie Lee Curtis and Laura Cornell. It's Hard to Be Five, Learning to Work My Control Panel. It's hard to be five. I'm little no more. 
good old days are gone. Bye, one, two, three, four. It's hard to be five. Just yelled at my brother. My mind says, do one thing. My mouth says, another. So look, pre-K friends, in this picture, here's the big brother. Here's the little brother. And in the big brother's mind, he says, would you ever so kindly please give me back my wig? But out of his mouth says, it's mine. Look down here, here's the big brother again. And here's the little brother, and he's having a delicious ice cream cone. And the big brother in his head thinks, perhaps an offer of just a small taste would be nice. But out of his mouth says, give it. Here they guys are again. Here's the big brother. Here's the little brother. The little brother's riding in this toy car. And in the big brother's head, he says, let's see, it's been an hour and nine minutes. Might I have a smidge of a turn before we have to leave? But out of his mouth, he says, mom. Sometimes it's tough to make those match your mind and your mouth. It's hard to be five. I've got to keep going. My clothes can't keep up because my body keeps growing. At five, I hear no and don't. I can't win when balls bowl inside at my 10 juice box pins. I'd rather hear try it and sure, I confess. And if dirt is involved, a very loud yes. It's hard to be five. Parents want you all clean. But washing my face makes me crabby and mean. That's a funny word, crabby. It means he feels kind of grumpy about washing his face. It's hard to be five. All I want is to play. I'm starting at school and I don't get a say. School seems so scary. School seems so strange. I'm only five. My whole world's going to change. It's hard to be five and wanting to hit when Scott cuts in line. And he says, I did it. At five, I do things that I don't mean to do. Like when I bit Jake, cause he cut in line too. Well, oh, that's a tough situation, isn't it friends? It's hard to be five. It takes Superman skill, sitting in circles and sitting so still. Sitting still, still sitting still, still sitting still. It's tough to sit for a long time. <sighs> sit still. And then there's the walking all by myself, only picked up to reach a high shelf. I walk to the park. I walk to the school. I walk to the bus. I walk to the pool. I walk to karate. I walk with eyes closed. I walk like a ninja, chopping bad guys. Whoa, look at this tricky page. It's fun to be five. Big changes are here. My body's my car, and I'm licensed to steer. At 
five, I'm a worker, a bee among bees. I build things and grow things, say thank you and please. Some fun things are hard, and some hard things are fun. I know when to walk, and I know when to run. I know when to stop, and I know when to go. I know when to push, and I know when to tow. At five, I can lie down alone in my bed and dream of my past and my future ahead. And when I mess up or do right, it's a start, cause I have my own mind and I have my own heart. It's hard fun to be five, so strong and so loud. Give me five, cause I know it, I'm here and I'm proud. The end. Pre-K friends, did you know that your brain has two sides? There's two sides of your brain. You have your right hemisphere and your left hemisphere. And these sides each control different parts of your body. And your body works best when those two sides are working together and they feel balanced. Balanced is a really big word. And it means when something is even or at the same level. And so we have a little demonstration and to show balance. Um, you can make one of these at home with your family if you like. It's really easy to make. You just take a hanger. Um, you take some plastic cups with some yarn and you tie a cup to the yarn and then hook it to the hanger one side and the other side. And if you look at this, see these cups, these are pretty balanced. They're about at the same level. But sometimes your body gets frustrated or you might have a big feeling like you feel angry. Remember back in the book and the big brother was feeling a little bit frustrated with the little brother because he had a delicious ice cream cone and he really wanted a bite and he wasn't sharing. And so the big brother started to feel frustrated and his body was getting a little unbalanced. So it would look something like this. This is one side of his brain and look, uh oh, it's unbalanced. This side is lower, this side is higher. They are not level. This is feeling a little bit unbalanced. So you can do things to help your body get balanced again and be in control. And this is called developing something called self-control in your body. And there's a couple ways that you can do this. If you're starting to feel frustrated, remember back to the book again, where the boy was feeling frustrated because somebody cut in line in front of him in school and he started to feel angry and he kind of wanted to hit or bite or do something unfriendly with his body. So one thing that you could do in a situation, if you feel angry or frustrated, you could use your deep breathing. Remember back to our Brain Smart Start, and today we did Spider-Man breathing. You can do that to help your body stay in control. So you can do three deep breaths. You could also do something like squeezing your hands together, like a little hug, or you can give yourself a hug like this if you start to feel frustrated. Just whatever helps your body feel better and those two sides of the brain working together again to feel balanced. Give it a try at home or practice with a family member. You can pretend um, that something is making you mad or frustrated and think of some ideas that will help you feel balanced. Pre-K friends, learning to express feelings and develop self-control 
takes a long time and a lot of practice. Here are a few ideas to practice at home that will help to develop self-control and manage big emotions. Like we talked about earlier, you can do some deep breathing that really helps your body to calm down when you're having a big feeling. You can blow some bubbles. That's a really fun way to help your body calm down. You can also give yourself a big hug. Remember, you are the driver of your body, so hold on to the steering wheel. Now it's time to draw and write. Going to school for the first time is exciting. There are new friends to meet, new toys to play with, and new activities to try. Think about your school and classroom. What is something that you could tell a friend who is going to be in pre-kindergarten next school year? For example, what is a really fun part of the day? Or what would you say the safe place is for? Once you complete your drawing and writing, don't forget to share this with your teacher or a family member. Pre-K families, here are some other ideas for enrichment and to have fun at home, continuing to learn about developing self-control. Create a driver's license with your child, similar to the one that's pictured in the book. Having this driver's license shows your child that they are in control of driving their body and helps them decide what would be a safe choice to choose when a large emotion occurs. You can create your own balance tool at home with a hanger, plastic cups, and some string. When those big feelings occur, teach your child to take three deep breaths and pause. Using this balance tool, each cup represents one side of your brain. Help your child understand that when the sides work together or are balanced, that is most helpful. You can use beans, dried rice, or small pebbles and pour some in each cup until the cups are balanced. Also, just that act of pouring can be soothing and help children to calm when they are upset or having a big feeling. Continue to take brain breaks during the day. Brain breaks are great for developing skills such as self-control. For example, a hand clapping game is an example of a brain break, and this helps to teach children self-control by showing them how to gently slap their hands together or to clap hands or slap hands with a friend or family member. That's all of our time for today. Pre-K friends, you did it. You learned all about being in control of your body. Well done. Now it's time to end our learning for today. See you later, alligator. Give a hug, ladybug. See you soon, raccoon. Bye-bye, butterfly. We wish you well. We wish you well. All through the day today, we wish you well. See you next time.